Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny and I thought we'd do a kind of what sold ship with me from the weekend. I shipped yes or Saturday morning. I shipped out like five or six packages. So this will be everything that sold since then and it was a really good weekend. So I had two Mercari sales and this was actually my first sales in May on Mercari. Mercari has been super slow. First, I had these Athleta leggings, which I'll put screenshots up too, but these Athleta leggings, they sold for $21 on Mercari, which was an offer sent to me by a buyer, and I was happy to accept, especially with no fees, and these have been listed, I believe, over a year, so I had purchased a lot of Athleta from Cozy back in the day and I'm still selling through it. A lot of it sold fast, but still selling through some of it. And I like to sell Athleta. This is going to Arkansas. I went ahead and pulled everything already to make it a little simpler. I'm gonna mark these shipped as I go. Next is this really pretty loft dress. Um, this came in a thread up 200 pounds box. And I think it was listed maybe six months. But I sent out offers on Mercari and someone accepted my offer of $16.20. And since I didn't have any fees, that's what I get to take home. I don't really keep an average cost of goods for right at 200 pounds just because I have to count everything and I don't want to. <laughs> so um, I assume I have around two dollars into everything in those boxes and this one is going to Texas all right so that's all the Mercari sales I had then I think I have Poshmark next I pulled them in kind of an order here and I have to go a little bit backwards I don't know why I did it this way I need to put a box together because this is a bundle to go ahead and pull it out. So I'm gonna put it in this box. It's a bundle of three items. Whenever someone likes more than one item, if they don't bundle them, I just go ahead and put it in a bundle for them. And then I always send 30% off for bundles. So the first thing in the bundle is this Torrid top, it's a size 4X. And I got this from a Facebook buy. And then I got these Melrose and Market like sweatpants. I don't know, they're new tag and they were in a thread up 200 pounds. And this is a J. Crew or Madewell. No, this one is a J. Crew necklace. It just has a Madewell bag. I got some accessories from Boutique by the Box. And you'll see that those are selling. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in with those pants. So it's not roaming around in the box. And this sale actually just came through. I sent the offer yesterday, I think, but thankfully they decided to accept. Always happy to make a bundle sale. Get a sticker. I have some of these stickers from um, Shipping Hip, which is where I get my mailers. And I also have some thank you stickers my mom and sister made with my business name on them because they have a business where they do printing and stuff. So if you're interested in something like that, just let me know. They would love to have their business supported. It's pretty new. But anyway, I have the shipping hip ones because I ran out of my other ones. And so until they could get those, my order done, I just had some backups. This is going to Delaware. There's some different states this morning. Usually most of my items go to California, but oops, <laughs> or New York. All right, let's see. Next, we have to do this kind of quickly because the baby is sleeping and he's had a little bit of a rough morning. So, all right, let's see what's next. Next is another thing from the J. Crew and Madewell accessories. This is a pair of Madewell sunglasses. I'm going to, I don't get to use these that often. These are USPS priority boxes, which 
Oops, I have two of them together. I don't sell that many accessories, even though I love to. I was actually really happy to get these accessory boxes. They were a little expensive. I paid $5.40 per item, give or take. And that was with a coupon. But they are moving. You're going to see several pieces, and I've already sold several and there's a couple that are still listed that are really good like a pair of men's leather and wool gloves that I'm hoping to do well and then quite a bit of jewelry left it was 40 pieces so. all right box and I'm going to knock everything down but I'm going to wrap these also in a piece of craft paper just so they have some protection here And these self seal, which I'm all about because I do not like my tape gun. And there we go. Should be pretty safe in there. Oh, upside down. All right. These just also came through this morning. They sold for $22, um, which the buyer and I countered back and forth. The comps were kind of all over for these sunglasses. I had them listed high. Oh, the other, I forgot to say, the bundle sold for $47 with discounted shipping. So, happy with that. All right, there's that. All right, next, another jewelry piece, which is this necklace. I can show you. It is like a chunky necklace, and you'll see a picture on the screen. This sold for $15. The box here. This sold for 15, not discounted shipping. Someone sent me an offer. And it did have these were new and customer returns. So what made it interesting was um some of them were on the wrong cards for some reason. And then this one actually did have a flaw that it was a little scratched. It had like a, a scratch on it. So this was a price I, I was happy to take 15. And I only had these listed a few days. I think, well, less than a week now. So happy to see all of them start moving. I'm going to wrap the bag itself in some paper. Most of the time I have things wrapped in cellophane, but since these came in their own little bags, I'm just going to do it like that. The craft paper should keep it from moving around too much and it should be pretty safe in there. Got the sticker. I just kind of grab whichever one I want. For some reason, I always want to put this upside down. I'm going to try to be making more videos again, but with the kids and my schedule, I don't know. And then next week, my husband and I are going to Canada for one of my best friend's wedding. So I'm really excited about that. She said thrifting is not good in Canada, but we'll be staying in Minneapolis, so I might try to thrift there. This is going to Tennessee, which is where I'm from, so they will get that really quick. I think that's, I live in East Tennessee, I think that's West Tennessee, but still won't take very long. All right, next we have these bathing suit bottoms. Their brand is Blue by Rod Beatty. I think that's how you say that. Betty, I don't know. Um, I've had these quite a while. I got these in Boutique by the Box. I think, well, if you see the picture, how it has the plain background, that was in my old office, and I've been in this office well over a year taking pictures, and I know I've had these a long time. But someone finally sent me an offer for $20, and I accepted. I can't remember how much I had per piece. I think... I think it was seven-ish dollars, so still making a profit, but it did take a long time. And I have sold other items from this, but I don't know where I am at. It was a little bit before I started keeping better records of things. This is going to Huntington Beach, California, so where someone definitely needs some swimwear. I like to use the padded flat rates on, like small items on Poshmark 
I just feel like it gives it more of a protection. I don't know. I don't have a lot of logic for this. I use a lot Tyvek envelopes on a lot of things. All right, next is, you know what? I think I forgot to pull this item. Give me just one second. Let me look it up again, because I can't find it over here. Okay, let's see. I did mark that I pulled it, but I did not. Let me go grab it. It's still over there. So this is a Free People tank top, also from Boutique by the Box. I had $7 per item into this as well. I just wanted to try out the Free People thing they had. I got an offer, no, they accepted my offer of 17 with discounted shipping. So I make 11.58 and then that gives me a profit of 4.58. So not great, but Free People does keep items or people coming into my closet looking at things. So that's why I keep Free People around even though it's not the highest seller now, it still moves for me. This item's also going to California, but to a place I don't know how to pronounce and I don't want to seem dumb, but I can show you what it says there without showing either of our addresses. Right. Next we have Okay, this is exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this, but if you didn't, I went in on Friday to a CARM, which is a local thrift store where the prices are pretty high, but I had a 20% off coupon if I spent more than $40 on clothes. There was a new rack, so I only had a few minutes. I looked and I found 31 pieces of clothing, two of which weren't on that rack. So 29 pieces of no bull men's clothing there's also a few built pieces and then there was a brand called sweat taylor which is it was like s-w-e-t taylor spelled as in like a clothes taylor <clears throat> new to me brand but anyway i had never found this much no bull i actually never found it at all and i wanted to try it out so they're selling pretty quickly you'll see um i'm not gonna make a huge amount of money on this my average cost was seven dollars and 19 cents Mostly because, well, I did save $50 with my coupon. This store is a little overpriced, but anyway, I'm doubling my money on this. It sold for $20 with discount shipping. So after fees and everything, I make $13.98. And like I said, that's not great, but it did sell basically overnight and I had to take four pictures. So happy with that. Okay, print. This is going to Rockville Center, New York. And I've sold several pieces already, and I'm hoping to get the rest listed today. But I don't know if that will happen. Alright, let's see next. It was a good Poshmark weekend. Well, the weekend before, I think I had one Poshmark sale, so definitely happy with this. Alright, next was this anthropology made dress it's cute it was missing um like it could be worn strapless but it had some straps and this came that were missing it came from my thread up 200 pounds that i did not record because thread up ended up refunding me for that box i think so far i've made less than 50 dollars profit on that box i could be wrong but I think there was one good piece actually that gave me a little more, but it had to be repaired. So that's another thing. It had a hole in the seam, actually several holes and someone fixed it for me and then it sold for a good amount, but it was not in good condition when it came here. All right, this one is also headed to New York. Like I said, a lot of my packages go to New York and California, which is fine by me. next this is a great kids brand and it's the first time i've ever found it it's called pink chicken and this is a cute little girl's dress i paid 4.99 at the thrift store it has been listed a little while but someone sent me an offer for 29 dollars, and i did accept that so that makes a pretty good profit almost about an 18 dollar profit i'd say so happy with that 
and especially for a kid's item. I don't pick up a lot of kids stuff. I do list my own kids things, but usually they wear them out so bad that it's not worth selling them. All right, this one is going to Woodstock, New York. I think I have two Poshmark sales left. And this is not a typical weekend for me. Some weekends can be this good. I have been listing very heavily. I'm listing around 15 to 20 items per day. I have a huge death pile. I've ordered stuff, so I need to be listing. All right, next were these New Ties Universal Thread uh, size 10 shorts. These sold for $12 with discount shipping, and they came in a thread up 200 pounds. I definitely don't list all Universal Thread, which is Target, but the shorts right now I'll list because one, they were new with tags, two, we're going into summer. I think these have been listed a little while, but easy to list photograph, especially new with tags. So I make $7.03, which good enough for me. I'm all about a quick nickel and not a slow dime. I'm, I'm a quantity seller. And these are going to Kernersville, North Carolina. Oops, our phone's dying. Okay, let's see. All right, we've got one more on Poshmark. All right, our last Poshmark sale is this Mod Cloth dress. And it is a size 14. As you can see, it's a really cute retro style. I picked this up at a yard sale. And if you watched my last What Sold video, I talked about finding print fresh pajamas and something else that I had sold in that video. Well, this came from that same yard sale. So I had $2.28 into it. And it sold for $35 with discounted shipping. I don't have the best luck with my cloth, but I have heard that the plus size and retro styles do really well and I can see that to be true because this took right around a month to sell and I'm happy with that. This is actually going to South Dakota, so that's interesting. Alright, let's move on over to eBay where I have around the same amount of sales that I did on Poshmark. There's a couple bundles, and I will have to weigh these, so that's why I saved it for last. All right, let's see what I've got on top here. So I sold these two pairs of no bowl shorts. The person bought both of them. They used my coupon, so they ended up paying around $25 per pair. I'm going to weigh these together. And I have some eBay padded flat rate, or just padded envelopes, but they're upstairs. So my husband a while back <laughs> thought it was a shame I didn't have any men's poly mailers. So he did buy me some that have these little deer on them. And I have some with American flags. And I had some with something else. I can't remember, but I used all those. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get a 12 ounce label for this. And then I'll just use one of my personal stickers here as a thank you. All right, 12 ounce. And then I will have to input the tracking because he paid for them separately. I think he did that so he could use my coupon. Maybe, I don't know. I think you can still use it anyway. I have a coupon set up for anyone to use that wants to. And that does help me get a lot of sales. I do a... I think it's a 12% off right now or 13, I can't remember. I usually do a weird amount, but I'm going to go ahead and add a tracking number to the other pair of shorts. And that way he has both. Sometimes I refund shipping, but he only paid about a dollar or two more than I charged. Well, I charged I think he paid like $3 more than I charged, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because by the time I refund with fees and stuff, it wouldn't be worth it. All right, next. 
I'm gonna weigh this. So we sold this athleta dress and the print is, or the style is the Vida Tiger Lily Heather Lin Lime Linen Blend Dress. I don't know, I've had this a while. Did have a small flaw on the inside, like the tag had somehow come away from the fabric and made a little hole. But it's double layered fabric, so you can't see it from the outside. But um, someone sent me an offer for $20 and I accepted because this has been listed a while and I think I only had it listed at like 25 or 30. So pretty good offer. And this is going to Vermont actually. And everything on eBay is plus shipping. I do not do free shipping anywhere except Kittizen. Okay, next. Actually, it depends on, I keep looking at the screen, but it depends on what's laying on top here in my box. Next is this Chelsea 28. Kind of scared to see what that was. Chelsea 28 Cashmere Blend Cardigan. This came in with right up 200 pounds. And it sold for $15 plus. The athleta dress, I forgot to say, it came in a, in that seam, cozy athleta stuff. So, glad to see it moving out. Sounds like my children are running around upstairs. Good thing I'm almost done. All right, this one needs an eight ounce label. And it is going to Maple Grove, Minnesota. If I can get my computer to work. Yes, child? Hey, I'll be out in a minute. You all go play. Just a second, okay? All right, next is this little lot of three Madewell earrings. We're going to use I'm not going to use a box for these because they're already wrapped in bubble and they don't have anything that could really break because they're all hoops. So I'm just going to stick these in the bubble mailer and I'm not going to bother weighing these because the, the lightest, cheapest thing is four ounces and this is definitely under four ounces. So don't need to waste time weighing them. But we'll go ahead and get this printed off. And I promote everything on eBay at 3% across the board. So do with that what you will. Some of these things sold promoted listed listings. Some did not. I think, I don't know if you don't promote and you sell clothing. Yes? What are you doing? I'm recording something. <laughs> I'll be out in a minute. Leave the door closed, please. We have another pair of the Noble shorts. This is our last Noble piece. And these are the men's camo lightweight shorts. I think this will probably need an eight ounce label, but I'll go ahead and wait to be sure. Yep, yeah, they're a little over five ounces. So we will get an eight ounce label. If you didn't know, shipping under a pound, it goes four, eight, 12, and then a pound. So. If it's over four ounces and under eight ounces, you get eight. And if it's, a, if it's even 8.1, you get the same rate as if it's 12 ounces, so. I don't bother trying to put the exact ounce on here. These are actually going international to Canada, but I'm shipping them to Illinois, so. It's pretty cheap for me to ship to Illinois, living in Tennessee. Eight ounce label costs four dollars and thirty eight cents. I charge flat rate shipping on most of my items, and generally I try to think of what it would cost me to ship it to California or so. And since I sell clothing, most items don't cost more than six seven dollars, uh, unless it's shoes or something. Okay, next is this REI dress. I'm trying out a new wholesaler. And several of her items have sold. So this is another one. This sold for $15 plus shipping. 
the eight ounce label. Right now she's charging me $4 per item and then I pay shipping. So about, you know, the same price or even less than I would pay at Goodwill. And she usually includes some items that are free if they're not in immaculate condition. I just have some brands she knows I like. REI being one of them. I love to sell outdoor wear. And this one is going to Maryland, which an eight ounce label to Maryland also cost me uh, $4.38. I had charged $5.49 for this one. I usually charge between $4.99 and $5.49, depending on if I think it's gonna need a 12 ounce label or not. I don't pre-weigh my items, which I know some people frown upon, but I just guess which I've been doing this long enough that I can guess decently well. All right, we have a small bundle and it is two free people items. This on the radar sports bra and this bandeau. These came in that um, boutique by the box thing. And um, so I'm probably losing quote unquote money on this bundle. She paid $12.50 for the one bra and $8 for the other. Those were offers she sent me plus shipping. And we'll see how much shipping is, but I probably won't send a refund on shipping. I do sometimes if it's, if they make a bundle and the shipping is quite different, but I think I didn't charge a ton on this. Okay, we actually only need a four ounce label because these are so light. We'll put a sticker on. Oops, main keys on my keyboard. And this is going to cost us $3.96. It's going to New Jersey. And I probably will send a little refund because she paid $8.64 for shipping. And that is a little excessive. I know you don't have to do that. The buyer was fine paying that amount. She did not ask me to do this. But I like to keep happy customers. And I get a lot. Well, I don't want to say a lot, but. I have had quite a few repeat buyers, so I wanna keep that going. We got two pieces left. I'm gonna go ahead and send that refund real quick though, because if I don't, I will not remember. And it's really easy to send a refund if you want to. They even have a uh, just a shipping discount on here. And I'm gonna refund her $3.00. So that means she paid around five dollars and so for shipping ebay also gives you a fees credit when you send the shipping discount and i am done okay so let's go back over to my sales we got two left let me weigh this since i'm already down here so this is going to be a 12 ounce label this is a banana republic skirt and is new with the tags and it came with a thread of 200 pounds. Someone bought this with my coupon? No, I think I just sent them an offer and they accepted it. So it sold for $18.49 plus shipping. It is going to Wisconsin. So that'll be not too bad of a label, but I charged $5.99 and it's gonna cost $5.07. So like I said, I just try to get an average of what I think it's gonna cost. Most of my prices, like the cheapest label I do is $4.15 for just something I know will be under four ounces. Because that's about what it costs me to ship to California for just tiny things. Now if it's close by, like this one, had it been, even though it's Wisconsin, had it been a four ounce label, it would have cost $3.96. All right, our last sale. Is is another pair of earrings. These are pretty, you'll see them on the, the screen. But yeah, they're just like, they do say J. Crew on the back and they're really pretty dangle earrings. I actually can't wear any earrings that I know of because I have some kind of metal allergy that makes my ears break out. But, um, so it's a bummer to have pierced ears and never be able to wear earrings, but there are worse things in life, obviously put together a little box here I 
I'm not showing you all me doing this because it is a travesty. Right. So I have a little eBay box. I ordered these quite a while ago and I did not read. These are four by four by four boxes and I actually don't use this size very much at all, but I can use them now. I just, I guess I thought it would be a little bigger. I don't know. I guess I just can't read. But anyway, so got that in there. These I do not trust without some tape. So I'm going to put just a little tape on here. Just because this front part, you just like pop it open. There's nothing to keep it sealed. I will have my label, of course. But so this is under, I'd say it's under four ounces. Yeah, about two and a half ounces. And I charged $4.49 for this. It is going to Washington. So that's about as far as I can go in the 48-ish. So $4.36, I had charged $4.49, which is what I think I put on all the jewelry. So what I said earlier about $4.15. I do that sometimes and sometimes it bites me like that, but I had actually charged enough this time. So that's okay. And then with these, because the box is like this, I try to bend it to where they can scan the code easily. I got a little crooked there, but we'll put on a thank you sticker, or actually this one's just a little cute flower. And we are done. I did not have any curtsy sales, no kitten sales, which is fine. That is a great weekend. I don't know how much I made. I don't keep up with all that all the time, but I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.